Joining me in the room podcast to talk about his next fighting opportunity taking place for CFFC 111 on July 29th is Jonathan, the Warhawk, Piersma. What's up, my friend? Not too much. Hey, it's been a little while since uh, we had a chat, man. Your last uh, fight back in March for CFFC 106, bro. Uh, been a few months uh, getting prepared for your next opportunity, man. What's been going on in this time off? Uh, pretty much just training, uh, ever since, uh, that last fight, um, obviously didn't end the way that, um, I planned. Um, so we pretty much got right to work. Um, I'm fixing, uh, things that, uh, didn't go our way in the fight and, um, just getting ready for the next, next, next opportunity. Well, looking back at that fight, John, I mean, it was a close fight, split decision. It seemed like you controlled uh, most of that fight. You had a lot of back control, uh, trying to sink, sink in a sub there. What do you think was the difference in that fight that you didn't get your hand raised? Um, yeah, you know, um, it was a close fight. Um, you know, a lot of people thought I won. But um, at the end of the day, I was just more upset with my um performance um i didn't feel like i performed very well um i had his back multiple times um i had a lot of control time but you know nine out of ten nine out of ten nights i uh i finished that fight with submission um i didn't do that um uh so yeah i can't be too upset with the um the way it was scored when um i didn't um i didn't finish the fight when i should have is that what you were feeling when the judges were, uh, you know, reading the scorecards? What was your thoughts uh, going through your mind while that was happening? Uh, I mean, I thought I had won just because I, I was pretty confident I won two of the rounds because I was on this back for three or four minutes in the first and third round. Um, so I thought I was probably going to get the, I was probably going to get the decision. But when they gave it to him, I mean, it is what it is. It's just, you know. Don't don't let it get to that point. I guess all I can take from that. Well, as far as getting back on the, the bike here and getting back into training, man, um, you know, you you talked about you know fixing some things from the last fight. Um, anything you've changed as far as adding to your uh, training regimen? Um, you know, as a young pro and growing every fight, man. Sometimes uh, you guys add different arsenals or different things there. Anything uh, new in this fighting camp? Uh, n nothing major, just, uh, working on things we, uh, feel like, um, we had to change, tweak, um, little things, but yeah, no, no major changes. I just gotta, um, you know, perform to the level I, I know I can right when I get in there the 29th. Um, that was the biggest thing looking back on the last fight was I don't feel like I was, I performed even close to what, um, I could or what I, I was in the training camp for that fight. Um, so that was disappointing, but, um, yeah, just working on little things, fixing little things, but more so it's just showing up and performing the way I know I can. Because I, if I do that, I, I know um, I'm going to beat beat these guys. Well, I know you've had a lot of uh, training partners, a lot of uh, cross training with some uh, some uh, dudes that have been fighting pretty regularly, man. So I'm sure you've been uh, getting helping them with their camps. Now it's their time uh, to help you with yours. Who's been, uh, you know, some of your main guys you've been uh, sparring with, rolling with, uh, getting you ready for this? Uh, so I mean, my my main guys over at Synthesis. Um, we got we got some good guys uh, getting ready for fights. Some some good amateurs um, getting ready. Um, so I have some good training partners, and then. Uh, I cross trained with Bone um, and Jake. He's he's also getting ready to fight um, uh, the day after me, I think. Um, so they come over, and then we got a couple other pro guys in the area that come in as far. So I, I've been against some good training, some good looks, um, good training partners. So it's been good. We like I said, we've been um, got right back to training after that last fight, and we've been getting ready ready pretty much since then. So. Um, I'm just excited to get back in there, um, get a win, get this last the last fight I taste out of my mouth, and um, get back on track. Well, uh, you're ready to step in there, CFFC 111. Traveling to Mississippi, bro. Have you ever uh, have you ever been to Mississippi? Never mind Fort there. Have you ever been there? <laughs> no, nah, I've never been there. Uh, it's funny. Everyone always asks like like where out where the fight's gonna be, and I tell them Mississippi, and they're always like, that's that's weird. But yeah, no, it was just kind of a random one. Um, I originally was hoping to fight in Florida on the card they just had um, last Thursday, um, but we couldn't really get anything worked out. 
Um, so then this opportunity came up and we just said, yeah, it doesn't really matter where we're going. It's a business trip anyways. Well, business as usual, you're heading into, um, into, I would, I would say his ballpark, TJ Welch. He is from Mississippi. Not sure how far from the venue, but I would imagine he's going to be, uh, maybe the crowd favorite as far as who's in the stands, man. What do you know about this guy? As far as I know, uh, he's two and two, his last two fights, uh, two finishes, first round finishes. Um, he seems pretty dangerous, uh, sub and a knockout in them two finishes, man. What do you know about him and what's your thoughts going into his backyard? Uh, yeah, he's from Mississippi. I don't know exactly how far, I think relatively close. Um, he fought on CFFC's card when they fought in Mississippi, a while back but um yeah as far as fighting the hometown guy i'm kind of used to that that seems like it's pretty much every single fight for me um maybe the only time it wasn't when i fought the kid from texas so we were both out of town but um yeah so i'm used to that so that that is what it is um but um yeah we uh we watch some film on him um he's a taller lengthier guy um some, some good striking um some, some decent grappling um you know He's dangerous. Um, he's he's decent everywhere. But um, like I said, I think if I just go there and perform the way I know I can, the way I've been training, um, I should be able to just you know dominate this fight in any aspect I want to. Well, you spoke about him being uh, kind of a lanky dude, six two. I do believe this guy. Have have you ever fought a guy uh, that tall? Uh, uh, the first the first my first two pro fights were both guys were pretty tall. They they're probably about the same. Like may give or take an inch, but yeah, my first two fights, both guys were a decent amount taller than me, so I've had some experience with that. Well, there's some long necks for you, bro. I mean, you got three subs. <laughs> <laughs> you got three subs in your, you know, your three pro wins there. Um, uh, as far as this fight, man, uh, you know, I know you had a three fight deal with CFFC. I believe this is your last fight on the deal. Um, it, has there been any talks with them as far as uh, you know, with this fight, what will happen as far as your career with CFFC? Uh, no, we haven't talked anything like that. Um, you know, we figure we'll just this fight and then after this fight, um, get this win and then we'll, um, probably go from there and talk with CFFC what they want to do. But, um, yeah, this is my last fight on the, um, three fight deal I signed with them. So after this fight, technically I'm not signed under CFFC, but, um, yeah, we'll probably talk with them. And obviously I'd like to keep fighting with them. This, you know, really good promotion. Um, they put a lot of guys in the next level. So. Um, yeah, go get this win and then we'll sit down and figure the next step out. Excellent. Well, I know as you know, before the last couple of fights, you know, there was, uh, you know, kind of contended talk in there, keep the ball rolling. Uh, do you think a win here, man, will put you back in that talks about maybe a welterweight, uh, you know, shot or, you know, maybe a number one contender spot, uh, down the line? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I just want to just be active, just get fights, start building up wins. And, um, yeah, if, if I, if I get that, that'd be great. But, um, yeah, I'm more just, I'm just more worried about just fighting, um, and, um, staying active and getting wins. Excellent. Well, with that said, bro, um, you know, we're just under a couple of weeks before this fight. Uh, what do we expect to see from the Warhawk, uh, you know, on July 29th? Um, just expect to see the best performance I've had yet. Um, a lot better than the last one. Um, I just look to dominate every aspect of this fight. Um, just be a lot more aggressive. Um, um, and yeah, looking for a finish, obviously, but to dominate this fight from beginning then. Well, man, uh, I wish you well, man. A couple more weeks uh, for training camp. Uh, bro, uh, you know, a little trip to Mississippi. Going to be hot down there, man. So, uh, <laughs> uh, shy, my man, uh, in that, in that uh, you know, hostile territory. I'm sure there'll be a, a couple of booze coming in. But yeah. as, as you said, you're used to it, and I'm sure that lights a fire yeah, in your butt. it's every fight. So. <laughs> uh, with that said, John, shout-outs, uh, sponsors, uh, thank yous, anything you want to say before I let you go and, uh, you know, get back to uh, work. Uh, yeah, just huge shout out. Thank you to all my sponsors. Um, you know, you guys make uh, this a lot easier uh, being able to train full time now. Um, so big thank you to all you guys. Um, and uh, just big thanks to all my coaches, teammates, uh, putting the time in with me, helping me get ready for this fight. Um, and uh, July 29th, we're going to go in there. 
get a win, have our best performance yet, and keep the ball rolling. There you go, my man. Well, John, thank you so much for the time as always, man. Um, and uh, go get it on the 29th, man. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Appreciate it.